Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about our armor and what our armor looks like in the spirit. This is in Ephesians 6. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And later it says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So that's the armor that we have. Now, you know when it says, put on the whole armor of God? I believe that just means use it. I believe once you become born again, God puts the armor on you. I don't think it's something like, okay, every single day I have to mentally put it on. It's just on. Or pray for it to be on. I believe it's just on, but we are to use it in faith. It's basically what it means. I believe. Now let's look at the, the pieces of armor. I'm not going to talk about how to use them. I'll put that video in the description of the link to the video because I already made a video on this. This is just going to be about what it looks like. Okay. Your loins girt about with truth. What is that? That's a belt. The belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. So the belt of truth is around your waist. The breastplate of righteousness is on your chest. Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's your shoes. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel. You have beautiful shoes on. Above all, taking the shield of faith. And the shield of faith. Your helmet. And your sword. That's the armor. So the belt, the breastplate, the the shield, the feet, your helmet, and your, your sword. It's like full armor. It's like something a knight would wear, right? You know, do you know how God was telling me that whole thing, like what God wears? He wears a vesture, okay? He's clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. And then in another one, it's like he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the Word of God. So the colors of that are white vesture, red blood on the vesture, and golden girdle, which is like a belt, but with him, it's around his chest. You know how I showed you the candy cane thing and how he showed me I was clothed in the candy cane? That's like his color. That's what he wears. And then I showed you guys like the Barbie doll with the gold on it. There's actually this, he'll show me that women dressed in red and white and be like, look what they're wearing because that's his coloring. There's actually this, this music video. It's from a movie. It's like a scene in the movie. It's called Rewrite the Stars. It's, it's a man and a woman and they're dancing and singing. It's very, it's probably one of the most romantic scenes I've ever seen. Very well done. And God showed me a long time ago. That's like you and me. You know, they dance, they sing, he romances her and the way he looks at her. So like she's an angel and she's so beautiful and he's very in love with her. It's just a scene from this movie. The, the, I forget what the movie's called. Something showman. I haven't seen the movie yet, but 
God was like, that's me and you. He showed me this long ago. Do you know what she's wearing? She's wearing red and white with a gold belt. And I believe golden shoes. And I was like, what? God showed me that recently. He's like, look what she's wearing. And I didn't see the gold. And then I watched it again. He's like, gold. It's from him. People disliked that video. I'm like, well, how could people dislike this? Very romantic. I'll put the video down there if any women want to watch it. But it's kind of like how God romances his church and how he looks at, at us and very sweet. But you see, it's kind of, it's what she's wearing. It's what I wear. I'm really in the rainbow, but it's a representation of, of what I wear. Like I'm clothed in his blood, you know, like I have his blood on me, like white, like I'm pure in Christ, white as snow and the gold. Now I was, when I was like, okay, gold, I'm wearing gold. Okay, that must be because I'm wearing all the color of the rainbow and gold is in the rainbow somewhere in the rainbow. And um, that's the gold. No, yeah, but actually what God was showing me, because the rainbow has, you know, a million colors in it, more than seven. It's just we can see seven with the eye. Do you know our armor is gold? It's golden. That's what God was showing me. You know, we wear the rainbow, right? Like what I was saying. And we have the jewels on us. That's underneath the armor. It's like the armor is a, the next layer, right? And we got a crown on. It was because God was telling me, okay, he wears a golden girdle, which is a belt. What do we wear in our, in our uh, armor? The belt of truth. It's gold. Now, God was showing me this in different ways. He actually showed me, you know, Wonder Woman, how he said I was like Wonder Woman. There, there's a movie of her. It's called Wonder Woman 1984. And I think it's the second movie. I never saw it. But she's wearing just gold. Like this outfit in gold. It's like a gold armor. God put my eye on that. When he started telling me this, he would put my eye on things with gold. I was like, gold. You know what else he showed me? Belle from Beauty and the Beast. You know that woman that thinks because I taught, say God was like the beast, I can't be from God. God himself said this in scripture. I talked about this before, but it says my beloved is like a roe or a young heart. That's the woman's part in Song of Solomon. Jesus Christ is like a heart or a male deer, a young male deer. Now, now, what is a male, what is a deer in the Bible? It says, these are the beasts which ye should eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the heart. He relates himself to a beast in the Bible. And people tell me I'm not saved. It's right there. It's a joke. Tell me that's not him. I can't even make this stuff up. You know, it's really interesting, too. I'm just going to go into something. My beloved is like a roe or a young heart. Behold, he standeth behind our wall. He looketh forth at the window, showing himself through the lattice. You know how God was showing me, you know, men and women with the glass and how we see through a glass darkly. It's the glass or the mirror. And he likes to show it to me like broken or just them speaking through the glass or touching the glass because it's him in the second realm. It's like I'm in the physical realm. He's in the spiritual realm. We communicate. It's like through the glass and how God gave me that dream of Satan and I was behind glass and the shutters shut 
like God was protecting me and the devil was walking by behind glass. It's the second, second heaven, second realm, whatever. The spiritual realm. It says it right here too. He stands behind our wall, gazing through the window, windows, peering through the lattice. What is a window? It's glass. That's a different interpretation of it, but that's what it means. Looking through the window. Window is glass. What was in my dream? The, a window. What did, what did Christine talk to the, the Phantom of the Opera through? A glass, which she could see through. A mirror. He likes to show me that. Over and over. What did Romeo and Juliet see each other through in the movie? It was a glass, like a window. It's in there. It's right there. It's a glass. He watches through the window. It's like he's in the second, in the spiritual realm, right? Now, why was God showing me Belle? What does Belle wear? She wears a, a white and a blue outfit with a bow in her hair in the beginning of the movie, right? God, show me that red, um, I'm sorry, blue and white. That's what the Virgin Mary would wear. Just means like purity, virginity. Blue are the colors of God's eyes. He sits on a sapphire stone. But also she wears a bow. It's like God saying, like, you have blue on, but you have the rainbow. <laughs> it's just cute. It just show, shows me different things, like, like that, like what I'm wearing. or It's like I have blue in there, and I just have all the color of the rainbow. Like, he'll show me the red and the white and the gold. Because I am wearing all of that in general. White is the representation of the, all the color of the rainbow. But he'll use it to just teach me things like I'm covered in his blood and stuff. But what is what is her other outfit? And it blue means serenity, like God's trying to say. Just be serene. <laughs> What's her other outfit? It looks yellow, right? Like when she has her... It's like a ball gown on. But it's actually gold. One of the men who created that, something like, I forget if he created part of Beauty and the Beast or whatever. He confirmed it's gold. They made it gold. They were going to make it pink, but then they were like, no, well, let's make it unique. Let's make it gold. She wears gold. Golden dress with golden shoes gold. You know how God was showing me I'm like a bell? I'm a golden bell. Like bell. You see, he'll just, he'll just teach through these things. It's not sin. It's him. Now, what does it say in the Bible? But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You're a priest, right? If you're of God. Now, I just want to go back into like Beauty and the Beast for one second. Do you know that when when she was was on there's a part where she's singing. She goes and she sits down at a fountain and she's singing and there's sheep that walk by. They go by. She's singing to the sheep. She's teaching them from the, her book. That's like me. One of the sheep actually eats the page. It's like a representation of us eating God's word. What's behind her? She's sitting on a fountain while she's while she's singing. That's like me preaching. What does it say in the Bible? It says, the mouth of a righteous man is a well of life. What's another uh, translation? The mouth of a righteous, the mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life. She was on the fountain singing. 
to sheep. What do I do when I preach? I sing. How do people not think this is God? I literally have given I don't know how many things. It's like in scripture. It's him. He was like, look at the fountain. I was like, fountain. I looked it up. It was in the Bible. Literally while she's singing or preaching. It's like me preaching. Teaching God's sheep. My mouth is like a well of life when I speak. Because it's like I'm like a watering pot that I water God's children. When I speak, it's like the Holy Spirit flows out of me. Isn't that cool? She also has a basket. God was showing me this. He can, kind of confirmed it. I don't know everything on it yet. But I have like a basket. It's just a representation. Like I carry food in my basket. To feed God's children. It's just cute. It's funny. He speaks this way. But back to the priest thing. Now we're priests, right? What did the priest wear? What did what did God command that uh, the priest should wear? Now, basically, what the colors are of what they wore were gold, blue, purple, scarlet, and fine linen, which means gold, which is like yellow, blue, purple, scarlet, which is red, and white. And what did they have on? And these are the garments which they should make. A breastplate and an ephod and a robe and an embroidered coat. A meter and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons. That he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Now what are the colors of the rainbow? Let's see. Violet which is like purple, indigo, which is like a, I believe it's like a bluish, right? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. What are the colors we already know that's on there? Red, purple, which is like violet, white, and blue. But indigo is kind of like a blue. So we're missing green. We have yellow because of the gold. We're missing green and orange. Now, when they made the breastplate, then they put stones on it. What stones are on it? You know, the 12 stones. The tribes of Israel it represents it. What's on there? Emerald, which is green. And I'm not really sure which other one would be... Uh, orange, but I'm sure orange is on there. So what did they wear? They wore the color of the rainbow. Just in a different pattern. Just what, like I said, what we're wearing. I don't believe we wear exactly what they're wearing. I believe we're wearing like what Joseph wore, the coat of many colors, and then the stone with it. That's what I believe. I believe it's different. And I believe for every child of God, you got a different pattern on there. Because it's you're kind of like a snowflake. You're like a unique snowflake. So every, because all of us are unique and we all bring something different to the table when we serve God. So I believe our clothing has a different pattern or there's more of one color on it than another color. But it confirms, doesn't it, that what I said, like we're wearing rainbow. It's in the Bible. Now, the breastplate. Okay. What is the breastplate made of? Of gold, of blue, and of, of purple, and of scarlet, and of twined linen shall thou make it, the breastplate. So it's of those colors, but also gold. The girdle was not, the girdle, 
Let's go to the girdle. It was gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet. Those, those, those colors, but gold. It's a representation of our armor. Do you see? What are we wearing? The, the breastplate of righteousness. The girdle, which is the belt of truth, is gold. We wear pure gold. You know, there's also something he wore on his head. And the breastplate had like rings of gold or something. Let me see. That he wore this plate. Now she'll make a plate of pure gold and en engrave upon it like the engravings of a signet holiness to the Lord. And thou shall put it on a blue lace that it may be upon the meter, upon the forefront of the meter it shall be. And it shall be upon Aaron's forehead. It's on his head, this gold plate. That's like your, it's a representation of your crown or... Your helmet is gold. Pure gold. You know the bell thing? You know, I wouldn't even have known that I was like a bell if God never showed me bell from Beauty and the Beast. He just uses it to teach me stuff I wouldn't have known. It's like a fun little thing he likes to do. Let's see. I'm going to get to the bells. Hmm. And beneath, upon the hem of it, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet. Okay, that's just like the, the uh, fruit we bear. It actually says it somewhere. Oh, I wish I had it. In Song of Solomon, it says it somewhere that she laid up fruit for him to eat. And, and part of that fruit was pomegranate. And pomegranates represent eternal life. And beneath upon the hem of it, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate. A golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Round about it. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister, and the, his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord, and when he cometh out that he die not. God likes that bell. Like a bell sound. That's how we sound when we preach. That's what Paul said, you know, if I had no love, I'd be like a clanging cymbal. It's like a very bad sound. But if I have love, he didn't say this, but... What would it sound like? A clear bell. Show me that through Tinkerbell. Or Bell from Beauty and the Beast. And he calls me beautiful through Bell. Bell means beautiful. What is Bell? She's a golden bell. It's in the Bible. Now the priests... It doesn't say what they wore on their feet. It may be they didn't wear anything. Because when they went into the tabernacle, it was like holy ground. And God would be like saying to Moses, don't, you know, wear shoes. Because this is holy ground here. I'm not sure what they wore. But I believe in our armor. What do our shoes look like? Gold. Now, on the armor... And on our clothing. You know how it says on the breastplate were the, the stones or the jewels? That could be on your actual outfit underneath your armor. Or it could actually be on the armor itself. Like my shoes are gold. But they could be covered in like diamonds or emeralds or whatever. And I believe... Now, God has to give me more on this for me to 
preach more. I'm just talking more about the color of our armor, that it's gold. I believe that the higher levels you get, like when you become a queen or a king, because you start off basically like a princess or a prince, but the higher you get, you get queen, king, you go up levels, you, you bring more glory to God. You probably get more stones or jewels on you, on your outfit and on your armor. And the armor God was showing me is very shiny. It's very shiny. It's like a shiny gold. Gold is like the color of, it's like royalty. Purple is the color of royalty, but also gold. It's like wealth. All of God's children are very rich in heaven. Gold. There's actually many verses in the Bible about gold. When Job was being tested, he said, you know, I will come forth as gold. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. God even said about his people, I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as f silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Gold. Even in Revelation, Jesus Christ said to one of the churches, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. He was talking about faith. He wants you to be rich in faith. Because he tries your faith through fire like gold. It's much more precious than gold, your faith. And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, meaning like I want my righteousness on you. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that they mayest see. But do you say, see this very important to God? You're right with him. You're, you're covered in his righteousness. That your faith is, is um, you know, tried with gold. He's tried you and, and you've come forth as gold. He refines you, like gold is, is refined or tried. Gold, that's what we're wearing. Our armor is gold. It's not cool. You see, he'll teach me other things. Now, could there be silver on us? Possibly, because when, when God adorned Israel, he said, I, I decked you with gold and silver. But I believe our armor, gold, pure gold. That's what it looks like in the spirit. And you know how I was saying you're like a jewel and, you know, when, when the sun hits you, it like it reflects off. It's almost like you're wearing the, the, sil the, the gold armor that's very shiny. And when the sun hits you, it's like maybe it makes a rainbow. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's not cool, the whole rainbow thing. And God's like, oh, you know, what do we do? We bear fruit. What is fruit? It's all the color of the rainbow. He hides these things in there. It's very interesting. It's how he teaches me. See, he, he taught me through Wonder Woman. Pure gold. God, God's children, you know, we're very rich in heaven. We're inheritors of the kingdom. Royalty. We're a royal priesthood, similar to what the priests would wear. It's a representation. They wear the gold on the girdle, a gold on the on, on the forehead, and a gold breastplate or gold within it with all the jewels. I think this edifies people because also it edifies me because it's like I know what I look like in the spirit. You know, I was saying God's eyes, blue, mostly blue, they can change from like, you know, the, even like God's throne, like that fire, the amber, it's like a gold. They could, show, they could change from like gold or amber to orange to blue, but blue is the hottest. I believe my fire and our fire is mostly blue, 
but like with orange and red and gold, like a golden with it, but mostly blue because blue is like the hottest flame. And the eye, we have eyes just like God. It's like a blue fire in the spirit clothed in the rainbow and then our armor is gold golden golden shield golden helmet golden breastplate golden girdle he actually he showed me this in different ways that my belt was gold it was funny golden shoes now is the sword gold I believe it's gold too gold I think this edifies people because it's it's like you can imagine how you really look how glorious you are in the spirit how awesome you look you see how God speaks through these things people just need to just let him speak how he wants look how he teaches me he confirms it with the Bible Bell was teaching sheep and singing on a fountain. The mouth of the righteous is a well of life or fountain of life. Just let him do it. Let him speak how he wants. All right, love you guys. Bye.